Hello and welcome. In these short videos, I'll be covering issues like your cash flow, superannuation, insurance and government benefits. When someone is diagnosed with Parkinson's and their usual source of income can no longer be relied upon, it's really important to look for a sustainable, long-term solution, not a quick fix. While some cash might be relatively easy to access in a short time frame, other options may take time and be involved. The important thing to understand here is that there can be financial consequences depending upon the action you take to improve your cash flow. By financial consequences, I mean you could end up paying too much tax or you could reduce your eligibility for government assistance. You may be able to access some cash in the short term, but at what cost to your long-term needs? You should take a step back and review your whole financial situation, including any assets you hold, debt you owe, and sources of income you may be eligible for. This is an understandably emotional time, and so it's a good idea to ask someone trusted and qualified to take an objective look at your situation. The best person to help you at a time like this is a financial advisor, especially one who understands how Centrelink benefits work. Let's start by looking at assets like superannuation and property. It's certainly tempting to try to access your superannuation, especially if you have a healthy super balance. If you're under age 55, you need to apply to your super fund on hardship grounds and go through a process that would require medical evidence, similar to making an insurance claim. But accessing your super before you've reached your official retirement age can lead to some of those unintended consequences I mentioned before. If you have a partner, for example, and they're also relying on your super in retirement, what happens if they outlive you by many years? If you've already accessed and spent some of your super, it could have a detrimental effect on your partner's quality of life down the track. Other things to consider if you gain access to your super include eligibility for Centrelink benefits and of course tax. Depending on your age, there'll be tax to pay should you dip into your super early. And while I'll discuss Centrelink eligibility in another video, you can affect the amount of benefit you're entitled to if you gain access to your super before retirement age. Working out your finances with a long-term focus is not a simple matter. If it suits your changed lifestyle, you may decide to sell your home and move into something smaller and cheaper, provided this results in some surplus cash after you've paid any commissions or stamp duty. But remember, unlike selling shares, for example, it can take months to sell a property, so it's not a quick way to generate cash. If you have an investment property you're thinking of selling, you'll have a similar time delay, plus some other consequences. Those consequences include being liable for capital gains tax because the property isn't your home. There's also the fact that you'll no longer have a regular income stream in the form of rent from the property. Again, these are things you'll need to weigh up in deciding what's best for your cash flow. Another important piece of the cash flow jigsaw is of course debt. In the financial world, there are two kinds of debt. We call them good debt and bad debt. Good debt is basically a loan you have where you can claim the interest on that loan as a tax deduction. That might be a loan you took out to buy an investment property or perhaps to purchase some shares. Bad debt is a loan or line of credit where the interest is not tax deductible. Bad debts include home mortgages, credit cards, store cards or personal loans. If you can do it, you should try to pay off any bad debts first. If you've got more than one of these, say a mortgage, credit card debt and maybe a personal loan, you should first pay off the one that charges the highest rate of interest, typically a credit or store card. You may also want to consider consolidating your debts under the one loan with the lowest interest rate. This is something you should discuss with a financial advisor or a mortgage broker. Rethinking your cash flow when your life changes dramatically is not easy. It's an emotional time that requires some clear thinking and a focus on the future, not just today. It might make sense for you to sell an asset or to tap into your super. It always makes sense to pay off so-called bad debts as soon as you can. In another video, I'll be talking about government assistance you may be eligible for. Accessing Centrelink benefits is another important part of rethinking your cash flow. You may also want to look at your insurance policy, see if you're eligible for payout as a result of your Parkinson's diagnosis. Letting your policy lapse to save on annual premiums may free up some cash, but at what cost? Our third video answers a number of common questions about insurance. My name is Scott Brower and I'm with Outlook Financial Solutions. Thank you for listening.